All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachak Rosh, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk, walk, and learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. And this is going to be another video through the Spirit. All right, and this one dealing with, you know, something that just came to mind as I was on the road. You know, and I'm about to get into it real quick, but dealing with the fact that, you know, we are the prophets. We're set to prophesy. We're not really. We're not set to debate. All right, and you know, I know the scripture, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. You know, uh, contend for the faith. And so I'm going to explain what I mean by that. But what we say is pure fact in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, a debate. Hey, this is something. <laughs> you know, this is something that uh, you know, to intimidate a person. You know, before getting to the squabbles. Uh. You know, your brothers can can use this. Hey, when you watch Mike Tyson, when you watch a lot of some of the best s fighters in the world, they had an aura about them that would already defeat the minds of their opponent. All right, before they literally already had to lay hands on them, they would already break down their spirit and their mentality to already go go into the battle scared. You know, I used to, uh, <laughs> you know, I used to tell people, look, we not about to fight. I'm about to kill you because a fight implies that I might lose to you, and that's not gonna happen. All right, and that'd fuck, that'd fuck a nigga head up. You know, they'd be looking at you like, damn, what this nigga about to do? But basically, what I'm implying is the fact that going to a debate implies that we could be wrong about what we are saying. And what we are saying is 100% true. So we don't, what we do is preach prophecy, whether these people like it or not, acknowledge it or not, stop to listen or not, think it's true or not. What we say is uh, is undisputed fact in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So, and I'm, hey, I'm willing to bet, let me see that word real quick, because I'm going to go to that one real quick. That word, uh, I just want to see what it is, and I'll get some scriptures. Uh, I'm going to be starting out of Jeremiah, because the prophets were set up to tell th this word, and it's, it's like that. This word goes out, and there's no f other force in this world that can deny it or push it back. Hey, now, people can kill us. People can, you know, oh, they'll close down this side of the street, so we have to move. But once the prophecy goes out, we've done our job. All right, look at that word debate. Rayab, strive, contend physically with words to conduct a case or suit, legal suit to make a complaint, to quarrel, to con con contend against. All right, so really, these this is a more, uh, when you read the meaning of this, strive, contend, this is more so of a, uh, I'm trying to think of a way, basically, this isn't a, uh, uh, because the word debate, you know, going back and forth, you wait your five minutes, let them speak for their five minutes. No, we're not doing that, man. All right. We we putting out our case. We're making out our complaint. All right. We're contending. All right. Mike Tyson didn't get in the ring and debate with you. <laughs> Mike Tyson got in the ring and threw bombs on you till you went to sleep. All right. Or till he broke something off your ass. And that's what we do with this word. All right. Let me, now, let me get this scripture. Jeremiah 1. In verse 10, it says, See, I have set thee over the nations and kingdom and Salakia. I have set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. That's what this prophecy does. There's no in-betweens. We're destroying the lies of this world. We're destroying the BS that has been taught to us since we've been in the school. All right. We're throwing down uh, all of the idols, the imagery, the idolatry. Oh, I already said idols. All right. All the false philosophy that this beast system is pushing out. All right. And what are we building and planting? The spirit inside of the elect. All right. We're building with the uh, uh, with the Holy Spirit. All right. And planting this truth like a seed into the minds of the hopeful elect in one third. That's what we do. There's no there's no in between of that. Well, what if you guys ain't we ain't dealing with that? All right. That's why, you know, when we're out there at camp, y'all really. You know, now if somebody comes up, they want to argue with us, you know, that's cool. We'll do it through according to scriptures. But really, when we're out there, we honestly don't have to talk to anybody. We don't have to answer any questions. We don't have to deal with anyone because what we're saying is stone cold truth. All right. Even if you get put in a situation, you know, which is why it's, it tells you, you know, you got to learn all the milk before trying to get into the meat. And you have to make sure that you know what you're talking about before you go out there and before you do your videos. But the fact that. Let's say somebody asks you a question that you may not, that you yourself, you know, say there's 10 of y'all standing there. Say you yourself may not know the answer to that question directly. 
that doesn't change the fact that what we're saying is true. All right, say for instance, somebody asks you, okay, what exact year, what year was Peter born and where was he on his 12th birthday? You know, I don't know that. But that doesn't change what that doesn't change what we're saying, nor does it change what we're doing. All right. So these people can go f themselves up the. These these people can go f themselves, royally. All right. Let's go to what is that Ezekiel. All right, because we're set out there to push this word. We're not debating with you people because we can't lose. Which is why here at Great Millstone we don't sit up and do all that. Uh uh, uh you know, going to the, going to the debates. You know, like other camps, we're not sure. Hey, F these people. If they don't want to listen, they don't want to listen. Good for them. They can die slow. All right. It doesn't, we're not trying to convert niggas. This nigga got a, uh, a, a, a ham hock in one hand and chicken leg in the other, and he don't know which one to eat. And he's going to eat whichever one we tell him to eat. Whoever uh, gives the best speech is that's the side he's going to eat. Man, fuck that. All right. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 9, it says, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So us just putting the prophecy in the air is, is our job, because these videos get on the highways and byways, certain, I mean, they get on the internet, all right, certain people on the highways and byways come and listen and are converted and healed, all right, but the, the very voice of these scriptures going out into the air is what is waking up the elect in the one third we don't have to go anywhere into a building we don't have to answer any questions we don't have to deal with these people us pushing this word is is what we are supposed to do all right so hey and you know it when you know there will be certain weeks you know it may go a whole month nobody comes up and says anything to the camp you know don't feel bad that doesn't mean that you're not doing your job you know we out there prophesying brothers pre pulling out scriptures Man, we preaching to the camera. We got brothers and sisters watching. That's all we need to worry about. Fuck these people. All right. This this is like a, a, a it's like a flood. It's like water. Water will go over anything. Water doesn't care if you <laughs> how tall a building you are. When that great flood happened in the book of Genesis, it didn't care how tall the mountains were. It didn't care how big of a gorilla you was. It didn't care how you know the man you know because you had the men and women on the earth at that time it didn't care if you was rich or poor the water went and covered your ass and that's this prophecy there's no other force that can go up against it all right in the real debates let's do this let's do this the real debates now if you want to have a real debate all right that means that wh whoever wins gets to live and whoever loses gets to die all right that's how we used to debate if you want to deal with a debate when you look at the Israelite, when you look at Israelite history, when we deal with debates, somebody wins and somebody fucking dies. All right. So now while I do it, when I we do them, I do them on you, on you MFers, on these people, these scoffers. How about that? How about if we prove the fact, <laughs> we prove the fact that the Lord didn't look like Caesar, then all you people who believe in Caesar got to drop. We prove the fact that, uh, 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 uh. The Passover is supposed to be a serious, solemn assembly, and if you're out here being a clown on it, you're supposed to drop. Now I bet you, I, I bet you that'll be an empty fucking venue. Sonnetter not showing up, Sakari not showing up, all right. IUIC not showing up, the motherfucking rabbis in the world not showing up, Christian pastors not showing up. This is gonna be us standing there waiting, then we gonna go home because ain't nobody gonna show up. Shit. All right, now this is gonna be uh, out of Kings. Y'all know where I'm going. Uh, we're going to go to 1 Kings chapter 18. Because you have the prophets. You know, I'll do this. 1 Kings 18 22 says, Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. It says, uh, I'll jump down to verse 24. Or no, I'll keep reading. Verse 23. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. And let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock <clears throat> and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And ye call on the name of your gods and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. This is how we get down. We going to serve you. How about Shem Yahushua on this way? You go serve your retarded idol and let's see who wins. And what is the end result of this story, y'all? All right, when you jump down to... When you jump down to... Uh, when you jump down to verse 30, because basically the Lord came through for uh, for Elijah, all right? The 
prophets of Baal, their sacrifice didn't work. You know, fire wasn't coming down. Then not only did Elijah's fire did come down, but he poured everything over with water just to just to add insult to injury and still have fire come of it. You know, so after the false prophets lost, what happened? First Kings 18 and 39. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, the Lord, he is the most high. The Lord, he is the most high. And Elijah said unto them, so the people said, damn, hey, Yahweh is our God. And which this is our people here. Our people's being simple any damn way. All right. That shouldn't, this whole contest shouldn't happen. But you had so many people of ours turn to idols that half of them were on the fence. And the other half was outside the fence. It says, and Elijah said unto them, take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took him and they took them. And Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get, okay, yeah, that's good right there, verse 40. So those false prophets that lost the debate, they died. 450 of them. Now, that's the debate. Now, how many motherfuckers want to get into that? All right, how about that? How about if we prove that the, uh, you, you know, dealing with a woman's coming of age when she is allowed to lay down with a man, we prove that all you scoffers and scorners against that have to strip your got to get your soul stripped out of your body. How many people would be willing to do that? I thought not. All right. So hey, if, hey, if we gonna get into a debate, this how we gonna go about it, you know. But hey, you know, not say <laughs> we ain't gonna do none of that <laughs> to nobody. I'm just showing you how we how Israel used to debate. All right. But hey, bodies used to get to dropping. When the debate when the debate was over, all right. So what we do is prophesy. We don't when you read through the scriptures, you know, hey, the the heavenly Father would give the prophets their word, and they would simply go out and preach it. You know, now you would have instances of people coming up and messing with them, but when you read the scriptures, do you see the prophets arguing with people every single day, left and right? No, you would simply like in Jeremiah, the people didn't believe him because he was young, and they disregarded him. And what did the Lord tell Jeremiah? And Jeremiah 1, we'll come back to, the Lord simply said this to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1 and 8, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. All right, and when you jump down some, it says, uh, verse 19, Jeremiah 1 and 19. There's another scripture, make, set thy face against their face. Uh, basically, make your face uh, as flint, you know, as an adamant flint. I believe that's also in Jeremiah, but we jump down to Jeremiah 1 and 19. It says, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Con. So these people can have a problem with what we're saying, but it does not change the fact that we are going to win through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because what we're saying is spiritual, holy, and correct. And what they're saying is a lie, wickedness, and an abomination. All right? So there ain't nothing to talk about. We're going we gonna to let these words come out, and that's it. All right? Watch the elders and apostles. Do the elders and apostles be arguing with motherfuckers? Left and right, no. All right. Now, hey, you know, you can choose to engage with people when they come up to camp, but ultimately, we don't have to. We don't have to convince nobody of anything. When the elect hear this word, that is all the convincing that they need, right there. When I first started coming across these videos, I didn't. Have, I didn't have to get up and go. I was like, shit, you know. I was, and I was in a whole different form of belief, which the majority of us were coming in first across the truth you believed what you believed in the world whether no matter what it was and you came across this word and you dropped that shit whether it took you a day or whether it took you a, re uh, uh, a week all right you know so that's about it just dealing with the fact that hey you know hey we don't we not set up to debate we're set up to prophesy all right once again a debate implies that we could f lose and we not losing the name yahweh bashim yahweh shai no matter what you do to our physical body, no matter what you think of us, no matter how it sounds coming out of our mouth, whether it be rude or whether we be speaking on the nastiness of the scriptures, what we're saying is correct and this prophecy will prevail. Matter of fact, I'll get this last one to close it. All right. Matter of fact, I'll probably get two. I'll probably get Romans 8 and then I'll get this. Uh... 2 Corinthians 13 and 8 For we can do nothing against the truth But for the truth Plain and simple You can't do anything against it At all whatsoever Even if you're coming against it All you're doing is fulfilling prophecy Alright Romans 8 and 31 To close it What shall we say to these things If Yahweh be, be for us Who can be against us The answer to that is nobody Alright because this truth is an unrelenting force What does that mean It doesn't stop 
All right, you cannot stop it. What you say doesn't matter or mean anything. All right, these scoffers and assholes. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Rosh. The to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk, walk them, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity. And I'm going to say Shalom.